Hey everyone and welcome, I am Sailor Jew and today we are taking a look at the Rune Tide and Rose Palace events in Love Nikki. So first off it's going to be the Rose Palace which is a pavilion type of event. It's extremely straightforward. There are only really 18 items that you can get. It's a pretty small pavilion but the first draw of the entire event is going to be half off and I'll show you guys my pulls. So oh and like right off the bat I get the treasure chest with the pink diamonds, which is pretty much the only item that I wanted. So uh, that's going to be it. Uh, thank you. Have a great day. Like the video. See you guys later. No. <laughs> um, so garter, uh, which is one of the high scoring items. Uh, so I also got the coat, which is kind of nice. Uh, oh God. And I'm already getting duplicates. This is not good. Uh, so. Typically, I stop doing pulls once I start getting duplicates really early on. Uh, it, it's just indicating that my RNG is not really good for the day. It also helps me keep my diamond cost for pavilion events like this down. Uh, yeah, and I, I got the garter again, so I'm not going to do any more pulls. But uh, as far as this suit is concerned, I'm going to be honest, I'm not a huge fan. Uh, I... <laughs> There are a lot of pieces here individually that I like, like the Chase Lounge and the uh, the stained glass window and then like the chest of diamonds and stuff like that. It's mostly the furniture stuff that I really like, uh, but as a whole, I can't say I'm a fan. <laughs> uh, another thing to uh, consider for pavilion type of events like this is that you don't get the posed suit upon completion they're always another item in the pavilion so that's something to keep in mind uh so uh yeah i don't know man you guys let me know what you think of the suit down in the comments below like do you like it as a whole or are you kind of like me where uh i think it just looks better like individually uh also if you guys have noticed like <laughs> And if you haven't been watching my other Let's Plays, like, um, The Liar Princess and The Blind Prince, uh, I am sick, so this is why I sound like this. I feel, I, yeah, I've been sleeping, like, all day, so this is why the, also the event guide is a bit late today, um, yeah, anyways, uh, but for high scoring, what the high scoring items are for the pavilion, uh, for the Rose Palace suit. It's gonna be the coat, that leglet, the garter that I got twice, uh, the window, the chest, the chase lounge, her crown, her earrings, and then also like the wings, like the little shooty out rose thing. I don't know what they are. They look weird to me, but uh, I don't know. I, I, I also kind of like the makeup because it's got little fangs. So uh, I don't know. I, I anticipate that I might just do like one pull a day just to kind of see if I get anything else. That I find interesting. Uh, this suit is also probably a good one if you are really big into the Starry Corridor because that means that uh, you'll get a lot more furniture items for building epic scenes. Now as far as cost is concerned, again it all depends on RNG. So you can spend anywhere from 2,500 diamonds to upwards or even more uh, 4,500 diamonds. So it usually seems like people who rush the pavilion the first day usually end up spending the 45 diamond, uh, 4,500 or more diamonds just because, you know, the RNG isn't great. So they just, you know, they keep hitting that, that, <laughs> that draw It's also really, really easy to accidentally overspend in pavilions because it's just one click and 80 diamonds are gone. So if you're not, you know, if you're not anticipating completing the pavilion then just slow your roll a little bit and just pay attention to how much you're spending so that's gonna be in my advice for that now on to the rune tide event and then after that we'll take uh take a look at the really beautiful recharge suit that we've got going on so the rune tide is uh gives us this gorgeous rune suit which typically I'm not a really huge fan of rune suits but this one I kind of need in my life because it's got these like sparkly little details and kind of wing like things so 
I anticipate that I will be finishing this suit, so um, I'm pleased about the price tag as well, which of course we'll go over. But we've had similar um, events like this, uh, especially recently, where we essentially kind of have to guess, uh, make educated guesses as to what is going to fit the theme the most. So the last event that we had had that quiz stage where we got to pick, you know, what we thought would be the best fit. Uh, that's essentially kind of what we're doing here, except for this one does have consequences where you have to, uh, Orlando gives us a prompt and based on the prompt, we have to pick the correct answer. Uh, depending on how off you are, depends on how many of those soft waves that you get. So if you get an S, you get five. So this one, he's winning. Um, so this is the next item because we're essentially building a suit and it's like traditional uh, cloud attire. And I'm like, which, which one of these? <laughs> uh, but I'm going to go with this one, I think. Um, yeah, it seems more traditional and the other one seems a little bit more modern, but, um, so, uh, I've got some handy dandy, um, uh, guide pages that I'll throw up on the screen as well from OG, which thank you JC and Caitlin for offering guide support and letting me use this as well. But, uh, so basically, uh, we get the one try a day, uh, and there are six items to build a suit, a complete suit that we have to choose. And if you get all of them correct, oh, I'm losing my voice. <laughs> I apologize. Uh, we get an extra 30 of the uh, soft waves. So uh, yeah, that one's pretty easy to make up. So I'll just go ahead and select that one. Do 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 do. <laughs> So I got six out of six. This one is way easier. Oh yeah, and there's, oh, I clicked off of it too, way too fast, but I got an extra 30 of the uh, soft clouds, which are soft waves, which is the event currency. Uh, so it's really important that you get six out of six. It'll uh, keep your price tag down really low on this suit. Uh, this one is a lot easier compared to the pre, you know, the other ones where we have to choose like which suit would score higher. Cause that one's just more like, super educated guessing, but, um, the items are in a pretty determined order. We get a lot of extra goodies and everything as well with the suit, which is nice. Uh, these type of events, it's always nice to get a little bit more in addition to, you know, since chances are you're already going to spending, be spending the diamonds to finish the suit, uh, which let's go over that price tag, shall we? So the event is seven days long and each day we get technically one free chance, which we get six guesses or six, you know, the six guesses to pick out the six uh, suit pieces with that one chance. So if you get all six correct, you get the five soft cloud, uh, soft waves. I keep trying to call it soft clouds, uh, soft waves per correct guess and then the additional 30 for all six correct guesses so um if you don't rush the event and you get every single guess correctly you're looking at um a price tag of 1410 diamonds to finish up the 3190 soft waves that you need to complete the suit so that's really nice, <laughs> which is also probably why we have this event uh, paired with the pavilion just to kind of bump up that price tag a bit. So, but jokes on them because I'm not going to finish the pavilion. <laughs> I say that, but I have no self-control. I'll like look at it more and more as the event goes on and I'll be like, but look at it. It's beautiful. It like hypnotizes you. I swear. Uh, now, as far as the uh, highest scoring items go for the suit, it's uh, going to be the star like hula hoop looking thing, which is a foreground piece, her gloves, her bracelets, tattoo, hairpin, and then the ground piece. So 
She's got a lot of items with her as well. So, and you do get like all the pose pieces and everything upon completion of the suit, unlike the pavilion. Now, the cumulative recharge is beautiful. <laughs> there are two suits. There is the light spring and then the where wind dwells, which is gorgeous. I'm obsessed with the tree and everything about her. So uh, I probably, I'm like, <sighs> yeah, remember whenever I said, I'm going to do one recharge a month. Yeah, that totally went out the window. I was like, dang it. Um, <laughs> so for the light spring, you only need to recharge to 100 VIP experience points. So cheapest way to do that is to get a 99 cent uh, pack uh, actually two 99 cent packs for like a dollar 98 cents. Uh, so that could be like a 50 um, VIP experience Zodiac pack. And then also that limited time pack in the user shop, which is super cute. Like I had to get it cause I really love like the funky, like little glasses. I think they're really cute. Uh, and then like the birds and everything. So I went ahead and got it. Uh, even though I plan on completing the entire recharge event. Uh, so, and if you are com going to complete the recharge event, uh, you need 2,100 VIP experience points for both suits. So, which the 99 cent user shop pack doesn't really play a part of. So, uh, the best way to probably go about it is probably to get two of the $1.99 recharges and then one of the user shop packs that's $12.99. So that's either the glossy gold pack, the starlight pack, or the stamina pack. So I am in the process of evolving and crafting a lot of stuff. So that gold pack is probably going to happen for me. Uh, plus I, I like to spend a lot of gold in the pavilion, but the, another option which runs just a, a skosh, like a dollar and a penny more, but will get you di more diamonds, uh, is going to be get a $4.99 recharge, which is either going to be the straight monthly card or one of the daily deals. That's that price tag. And then the usual shop pack uh, for $12.99. So it's going to be $17.98 to get you that. The uh, easiest way and the most straightforward way, but the way that I would probably recommend the absolute less is going to be getting the uh, $20 recharge in the uh, diamond recharge shop. So that's $19.99 for 1200 diamonds. If you haven't already purchased that diamond recharge tier, the diamond cost will be doubled for you. So it'll be the uh, 2400 diamonds. As far as what's high scoring for these two suits for Light Spring, it's just going to be her little leglet item for, well, uh, <laughs> where wind dwells. It's going to be our hair, coat, necklace, makeup, and that gorgeous tree item. So, uh, yeah, but that's basically everything, guys. I hope you enjoyed this guide. Sorry, I'm like kind of out of it and rambling. I'm just been sleeping a lot and a lot of medicine and <laughs> but I've also been trying not to fall behind on my other let's play series and stuff like that which if you haven't already checked it out um I highly encourage you to check out my time at Portia and uh the Lair Princess and the Blind Prince uh it's been a lot of fun playing those and I think you guys would enjoy them so if you're looking for uh the written information check it out in my love Nikki group love nikki zen garden or an og those links will be in the description down below uh if this video helped you out please help me out by hitting that like button if you're new here feel free to subscribe and ring the notification bell to be alerted whenever i go live or post new content and until next time take care guys